and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about three most common cures for sciatica by Bob and Brad. There you go. It's kind of the three-step approach that we do with all of our patients when we first see them. These are the three things we kind of cover. I'm right? going to restate that, but after. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels because what are we giving away, Liz? This is Saturday, so tomorrow we'll be giving away the Thermatex Infrared Heating System. Oh, very good. So just look for it nice. tomorrow. Go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. It's always pinned to the top of the page. Mm -hmm. And also, if you go to bobandbrad.com, it's under the giveaway section. There you go. Bob, you know, I was thinking this week after treating my second patient with back pain and associated leg pain sciatica. Sure. And looking back over my 22 years of uh, physical therapy, working with back pain, and we discussed this, these three home exercise programs or instructions, if you will, come up more than any other in our opinion with, sure. with our patients. And they're very successful and I want to share them with our viewers. Yes. So actually this, uh, I had it with a 41-year-old uh, woman yesterday. She had sciatica 10 years ago and now the back pain is coming with similar symptoms cropping up. It's coming back to get her. Um, and that is quite often the case. Right. Is you, once you've had it, you may get it again because right. you're doing some of the same things to bring it on. Which was the case she couldn't remember the exercises anymore and sure. some of the things she were doing was irritating it and i had the same thing with a 61 year old male last week okay. and similar situation and we're gonna cut to the chase they're saying what are the three things All right well the first one almost and this is pretty much with all back patients is we address their posture particularly in the seated position right everybody always thinks that back pain and sciatica is a lifting issue right it's really much more because our society now become a seated issue in general people are se seated at work they're seated in the car they're seated in school it's and, incredible and that actually puts a lot of stress on the disc right and, and it can cause a herniated disc right. it can cause a, a bulging disc right and it, you know creates that right. scenario particularly chairs that are soft cushy right. or the person uh, can you get at this so we got an actual car seat here right in this case if you sit in your car seat and it's like this one it actually kind of goes in the opposite direction what we prefer and if you slouch like this a little bit then it really curves that back anytime whether you're in a couch a car seat or in a desk at school or at work and you're slouching leaning forward it puts more pressure on the disc the simple solution is is number one scoot your bottom back in the chair seat up sit upright if you have Bob can you grab me a lumbar yeah. support um, if, the other thing is you want to make sure the seat's fairly upright too right yep because if Good it's point. back, we're going to show real close. But yeah, if it's back, you're going to round out because right. you're going to get your eyes level. Right. You know, and you're going to. If you're driving, yep, you're, you're like this. That, yep. You want to get the seat up fairly upright. There we go. That, that feels fairly good for upright. Me. Yep. And. If you don't have an actual lumbar roll, you can just take a towel roll like this. And you're going to place it right at about the belt line. And it kind of depends where the injury is. But typically, you know, it's a lower lumbar area. And when you put it in there, it should feel immediately like good support. The size of it may vary. So, you know, you may want to get a, a larger tall roll or a skinnier one. It shouldn't feel like a big bump there. It should feel like, oh, that's that's good. It takes the pain away or relieves it normally. Yeah, the size is going to be dependent upon your size. Right. Um, if you're a fine boned person, right. you know, you're yep. going to probably need a smaller one. And two, it often depends on how bad the sciatica is. Right. A lot of times I've found people who are really in the throes of it, they like to have a bigger one. So once you found the, the towel size that works well, smaller or larger, then you can get a, a button one, which are more comfortable. And they usually have a strap that go on the back side. We like the McKenzie roll. We have really good luck with those over the year. Well, for one thing, he invented the idea yeah. of using a lumbar roll, and he also invented the, the exercise we're going to show you next. So address your seated posture. Get it so it feels good when you're seated, whether it's in the car, at home, in the office. Yeah, if you're in a, on a couch or a, a, a you know love seat or some type of recliner, you can take a throw pillow and put it sure, behind you right. and, and just fill in that gap. You just want to stop the slumping from occurring. Right. You want to restore that arch in your back while you're sitting so right. that you're not going to play into getting the sciatica and, and the herniated disc or the... The right. Disc, so. Then the next number two is extension in line or laying on your stomach and doing uh, this is a, 
Uh, Robin McKenzie really kind of yeah. authored this in a way, but it's been very successful for uh, sciatica. Well, what's interesting about this, Brad, is that actually prior to this, they did not recommend that you do this at all. They thought this was harmful for the back. He had a patient lay down, and the patient lay down wrong, and they were laying like this when he came in, and their back pain got better. But that's... A Neither here nor there. But uh, what are you going to do is you're going to start off, and sometimes you're going to be able to start just by lying down flat and maybe lying for a few minutes uh, to see if, how you tolerate it. And then eventually you might get up to on your elbows right. and take a little, start getting a little bit of the arch in your back. Ideally, eventually what you're going to get to is you're going to put your hands beneath your shoulders and you're going to start doing press-ups here. And with the press-ups, you want to keep the pelvis right down kind of glued to the table. Right here. Yep. So you, what you don't want to see is this. Right. If, right. And that often does happen because your back is tight and it's, sure. it's tight in this direction. So you want to work it in gentle, uh, gentle oscillations here until you get up further and further. Eventually, you'd like to see it that you're yeah. all the way up this far. And as you do more of them, the leg pain that's going down the leg into the foot or where it maybe should be disappearing and going away. And you should start to feel it more in the back. If that's the situation, continue to do these. If it just makes it worse, you're either being too aggressive with it or maybe uh, some, some other exercise. And we do have some videos on sciatica that, with difficult uh, problems. Yeah, so. we got advanced exercises that right. you do beyond this. But that's a critical point you were making, Brad, is that you want the leg pain should be getting better. Otherwise, this isn't the exercise for you. Right. If it's actually right. making the leg pain worse and the back pain better, that's still a bad sign. Right. You need so. to stop that exercise. But in general, we find really good success with this approach. So again, a lot of variations on this. Um, we're just kind of touching upon it on this video, right. the, the, this exercise portion of it. We're trying to give you the three general things to do. So grab some of our other videos if you're interested in getting more details on that. You bet. And they're titled as such. And number three, but not the least, but this is some of the things that people are not aware of that make their back and leg pain and sciatica worse. Simple things like they bend over to pick up something improperly. We and it doesn't even matter if it's a pencil. I think that's what throws a lot of people off. They think, well, I'm not lifting up anything heavy. Right. But your back is getting in that rounded out. Yeah, yep, right yep. there. So you want to go down, keeping your back in a good straight position. Brad and I often... We have an exercise using the booyah stick, actually. It's good training you can do, actually, is you get it behind you like this. And when you have good posture, you're going to have three points of contact. So the head, the mid-back, and then right about at the belt line of the sacrum. Touch here, touch here, touch here. Your spine is good alignment. Yep, it's, it's, it's like you have a back in a cast. And, so, you know, it's staying in a good position here. So if I can translate that into picking something off the floor, you know, going like this... I'm, I'm going to keep the back out of trouble. Right. You can also do kind of a lunge like this, you know. Sure. And I'm keeping the back straight the entire time right. while I'm, I'm yep. picking it off the floor. That really helps that sciatica uh, heal up much faster when you treat it properly. Other little things, like when you're brushing your teeth, you may not realize it, but you're bending forward. Right. I have a lot Over of the sink. Right. I've right. a lot of people say, when I'm brushing my teeth, my back hurts. And that's because they have this. So get in that position and really be aware of that. Other Walking, if you're walking, walking uphill, uphill, you lean forward just to balance. Right. And that's a little thing. Same with stairs. I mean, if you can avoid using stairs. I mean, right. some of this, as you're trying to help your sciatica, is, is an avoidance thing. Sure. Um, you want to avoid picking things up the, off the floor. You want to avoid picking up your your child at that time. Right. right. Um, I actually, when I had a bout of sciatica, I was a student in physical therapy, and I wouldn't sit. I, I just did my notes on a countertop. Sure. And I, I I avoided sitting because I you know it was a lot harder to keep your good posture when you sit compared to standing. That's why they have sit stand tables now, and it's very, becoming very popular in the workplace. So, you know, the whole idea is if you keep that posture, you, you're giving your your back a chance to heal. Right. And the body wants to heal. So you throw that along with the exercises and quite often you, you get a fair amount of success just from that. Those right. Three things. Exactly. Those three so. so once again, Bob, we can cure just about anything except a broken heart. There you go. But boy, are we working on it. Yeah. We won't stop either, yeah. Bob. All right. Thanks for watching.